verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And that's that's us here at Great Millstone. We understand. We understand that this, this was written. Yep. Most High said it was going to be uproars of the people on the planet. You know what I'm saying? That's happening every day. You know? You go to Matthew 24, Yahweh Shai said, war, wars and rumors of wars. What's going on with uh, Iran? Talking about they, 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 they got posters of Trump. You know what I'm saying? Punching them and shit, man. And at the top of his head, it says, uh, down with down with America. Yep. Or down with the USA. All right. <laughs> you know, this shit is getting ready to go down, man. Hey, just Trump. Don't slide. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, Trump, Trump uh, what'd he say? He's going to bomb the shit out of them. I forget what country he said he was going to do it to, and he said he's going to take the oil. God. And he's moving. Moving fast, man. That's right, man. You know? And Jake want to put fucking rap albums out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, put your, put your album out, man. Do you do it, Drop that shit. Drop it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Drop that shit. Right. You know? You drop that shit. <laughs> And most high gonna drop your ass, man. That's right, man. Gotta you gotta be so good. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Hey, this is uh, Matthew 24 48. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming. That's your actions. Mm -hmm. That's your actions. You know what I'm saying? Because just because you go out on the streets and you do weekly live shows, don't mean shit. Because your, your real motive is this rap shit. That's the real motive, man. Because you ain't purged that old nigga up out you, man. Right. And the Most High not dealing with that, man. That, that rap shit, the Most High is not dealing with that shit. I don't give a damn how many scriptures you put in your verses, in your bars. Right. You know what I'm saying? Most High ain't dealing with that shit. That's right. You got to come rough, raw with the truth. No beats. Y'all was tired wasn't standing in no goddamn booth. Right, right. With, 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 with a thousand chains on his neck. You know? Swinging his arms and shit. Just looking just like a nigga in the world, man. Right, right. With the Israelite twist to it. That's right. And that's the message. ISUPK, them niggas, their message is to go to the gun range and, 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 and strap up. You know what I'm saying? That's their message. Them niggas pushing. You niggas pushing for uh, go go after your rap dreams. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to say it directly, but what what, what are you doing? This is what you pushing out to Israel, man. Every nigga in the hood want to be a rapper. Every nigga in the hood want to be a rapper. Now they can be a rapper and being the truth and the Israelite. Oh yeah, I'm with that. I got some. I got some dope lyrics. I got. I've been reading. I've been studying. Let me. Let me drop this for you, man. The most sign ain't dealing with that shit, man. That's right. Straight up and down, man. That's right. I got a quick for you. Gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just got emails. You can finish that. Okay. All right. Hey. Um. And and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. <laughs> now, now, when you look into the Greek word. For that term, smite. It's gonna be real quick. Strong's G fifty one eighty tuto tuto tuto, and it states to smite metaphor to wound or disquiet one's conscience. Ooh, <laughs> put Jake to sleep. Put Jake to sleep by you saying that hey, okay, promoting that agenda to become a rapper or. Hey, although ISP UK, well, hell, y'all promoting that shit to go to gun ranges, man. Because yeah. why you're not pushing the word of Yahweh by Shem Shah? That's not within the scriptures, man. That's right. And when we're on the highways and the byways, that's how we're rapping the words, Lord. I mean, the Lord's word or singing it, man. Right. You know, we're not physically going in no booth or having some goddamn CDs pressed up, man. Yeah, that's bullshit. Selling that shit out the trunk of our cars and shit. Talking about what what lyric was calm. That whole shit is carnal, man. It's not spiritual. Right. That whole shit was not spiritual at all, man. Mm -hmm. And then they try to justify it. Yeah. 
And then made a, a, a music video, man. Yeah. If there's some tunes or lyrics out there, okay, you, you let a brother listen to it. Okay, all right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Brother had a little pastime. Right. That's what he like to do to re a release stress. But you got a record label, you got an album, you're doing music music video, right. man. That's too much, man. Yeah. That's you're not focused. You a nigga, yeah. man. You're not you 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 don't have the vision. You're not you're not you're not in that spiritual tunnel vision of the exactly. kingdom, I'm man. Just that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You distracted by all that other bullshit, man. You ain't you ain't looking for the kingdom, man. Yep. Give a damn what you niggas say, man. That's right. Dog. You niggas are not in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, man. We just read uh, scriptures where the disciples, they was constantly looking for the, the, the end, man. They wanted the kingdom. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They wanted the white man to go down, man. They wanted the Romans out of its power seat. And who's doing it today? Who's ready for the kingdom, man? Who's pleading with the most high, man? Mm -hmm. The scripture says, who will rise up, me for, uh, rise up for me against the evildoers and workers, workers of iniquity? Who's doing that, man? That's right. There's only one group out there who are wholeheartedly and seriously uh, are cleaving unto the heavenly father, man. And denouncing the wickedness of this world, man. That's right. But there are plenty of other groups and sects out there who are inclined unto the world. Right. Inclined unto the desires of their heart, man. Yeah. Right. Because y'all don't fear, man. Y'all don't fear Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Yep. If y'all did, y'all would be just as serious as the men of the yeah. Lord are. Your behavior would be different. Exactly, right. man. You niggas' behavior is shows you do not fear the Lord, man. That's, That's right, right. Because they'll ask you, uh, how do you know? How do you know? Your actions. Yeah. The Apocrypha says that a man shall be known by his look and excessive yeah. gait. Yeah. 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 Right. I got a little more. All right, go ahead. Bro. All right. Uh, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. And right now, you other camps are doing that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Verse 50. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. The nigga going to be on the stage. The whole Sakari going to be, right, right. they're going to be doing a show. They're going to Chicago in June. You know what I'm saying? You might be doing a show and the Lord going to bring misery on you niggas, man. That's right, man. That's right. And in, a, and in an hour that he is not aware of, what you just said, verse 51, and shall cut him asunder Ooh. and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites, you actors who <laughs> act like you're man of the Lord, but you are not. Right. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Can't get around that. Can't get around it, man. It was a cold. Can't right. get around it. And man, that was beautiful. Right? Yeah, most yeah. I cold as ice, man. Mm. Right. I got the book of Amos chapter 5, verse 23. It says, Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. But I would not hear the melody of that vibe. Because it's about preaching, man. It's about preaching and being serious about this thing, man. You know, we're not like the brother saying inclined or attached to the world. Fuck that shit, man. Because you rap, you can't wrap your way into the kingdom, man. Nope. You know what I'm saying? You have to get out there and you have to prophesy the way Yahweh Hashem Al Shah had, had, has ordained this thing, man. He didn't say rap um, 16s to get into the kingdom, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, that was it on that. Okay. I had a precept, but it's dressed on my... No, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to put it okay. up right now. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. So the things that has been already spoken of in the scriptures is going to be a worse time, worse than that. Go ahead, bro. No, nor ever shall be. Okay. Huh? And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And that's the reason why these days and these weeks and the time is moving the way it's moving, man. Because sure. we eat, we drink, we sniff poison, man. We bathe in poison, man. And not to mention how Esau is wearing out the flesh of the saints, man. So at the end of the day, you know, without the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah, we couldn't go on anymore, man. Right, that's right. You know, we're living through the spirit because he's placed that spirit upon us, man. God. Right. And one of the reasons I brought that scripture out because in the past years, especially coming up, you were able to enjoy each year, enjoy each school year, and enjoy each season, enjoy the summer when you got out of school. But nowadays, man, the the, the whole year just is, is like combined into one month, man. That's right. That's like everything's right. moving fast, super fast. They don't see it. Yeah, you mm -hmm. don't see it. And I got right here the book of Revelations twelve and twelve. It says, "Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them." Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, that's right. 
And that's what Trump is. You, 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 don't, you see what Trump is doing? They keeping track of these 100 days, man. They keeping track of these 100 days of the executive orders this devil is passing, man. And they ain't playing. You know? That's right. They, he is not playing, man. Uh, I wanted to bring this scripture out because the brother has said, uh, damn, spirit left. The brother has said, uh, we doing what Yahweh Shah do. We, 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 when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, man, his disciples wanted the kingdom. And Yahweh Shah told him, look, if you, like, I'm going to read it. I'm going to just read it. It was uh, with uh, Mark 10 and 35. It says, and James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come, come on to him saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, what? What would ye that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant us that we may sit on thy right hand and on thy left hand in thy glory. But Yahweh shall I said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of? And what was the cup Yahweh shall I drink, drink of, man? He took he went through pure hell and then he and then he laid his life down. Mm -hmm. So what what you think getting ready to happen, man? This was a question Yahweh Shai asked. Basically saying, are you willing to go through this shit I'm going to go through? If you you trying to sit on my right hand and on my left hand, are you willing to do the shit, go through the shit I'm going to go through? Pure hell. Right? So, and in other words, he was asked, in, a, in another word, symbolically, hey, count that cost, man. That's right. That's right. You know, you, they will say, hey, count that cost, man. Yeah. Because a lot of times you have you you got to look at other brothers' experiences, man, and be like, hey, okay, can I go through this thing? You know, because it's not an easy walk, man. But, of course, hey, if you're a man of the Lord, you're going to make it anyway. And That's if right. you're not, you're going to do the same thing Sakari and them niggas in Chicago are doing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because they not, when they read scriptures like this, you know what I'm saying, they think of rap music. Nah, when we read scriptures like this, man, we think of the hell Yahweh Shai went through, man. Yahweh Shai wasn't about fucking rap music, man. That's right. He asked, he asked these these two, uh, John and James, which he called the sons of thunder. Look, are, are you willing to drink of the cup that I drink of and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with, meaning catch hell and be put to death? Are you willing to do that? For, for, for sitting on my right hand and my left hand in, in, in my glory? And then they, and they said unto him, We can, and Yahweh shall said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of. So if you're drinking of the cup Yahweh shall uh, drunk of, your, your whole message when you get on the computer and you push it, you calling yourself a man of the Lord, your message ain't finna be no bullshit. You ain't finna have no bullshit because the times we living in ain't bullshit. It's serious. These are some serious times, man. You got ISUPK shooting in the gun range, busting guns. Can't shoot. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, Sakari making rap music, which I knew that was coming. You got IUIC denouncing the name. You got GOCC, these niggas pop locking on stage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Name a, a higher by Shire. You know? And these are all the guys that Israel loves, man. Right. But when it comes to the, the men that's showing you how Yahweh Shai did it, and the hell that like like I'm reading here, the cup that's getting ready to come, if you if you claiming to be a man of the Lord, you have to drink, you have to drink this hell, man. That's right. Yeah. You know? You're going to have to be baptized. You know what I'm saying? Through the fire, man. Uh, Jake, mine ain't prepared, man. Right. Your actions show otherwise, man. You ain't prepared for this thing. Let me uh, finish this last little part. And it says, but to sit on my right... Well, let me go back to 39. It says, and they said unto him, we can. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of. So a servant is not above the master. Straight okay? up. So everything, the, 
the master went through, the servant's gonna have to go through that same avenue of pain, man. Yep. Is it that pain for that servant just customizing the, you know, to each in the brother, each brother differently, but each brother goes through their own customized hill, man. Yeah. Yeah. And they gonna embrace it, man. Yeah. You know. And if you you looking to catch a rap video is the last thing on your mind. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If you trying to be in the, the glory of your Howard Shaw, a rap video or album is the, should be the last. It shouldn't even be in your mind. Yeah, you don't think of it. Shouldn't even be thinking of that shit, man. You know? Yeah. It says, uh, you shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink, meaning you're going to catch hell. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and with the baptism that I am baptized, with all shall ye be baptized. You know? And we, well, we read earlier, uh, John surely baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, man. That's right. Okay. You know? So, keep playing with the most side, man. <laughs> you niggas keep playing. Yeah, ain't nothing else to say besides that, man. Yeah. Hey, the most high, hey, the most high is going to get you, man. Like, people say, hate when we say what the most high is going to do, but it's written what the most high is going to do. Yeah. Judgment's coming for the evildoers, man. Yeah. yeah. It's hey, it's no, it's no mystery. It's not something that would that, that there's a big question mark upon it, man. I had a quick precept for you too. Uh, this book of Sirach, chapter two, verse one, says, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble." Mm -hmm. That's right. And they make it haste because because they want this discomfort. To turn into a particular type of comfort, man. Yeah. That, that, there's no other way around it, man. Yeah. You know, instead of relying upon the heavenly Father to give you those things that you did, that you need, and occasionally give you those things that you desire, you, you're putting it all up in your hands. Yeah. Now you're creating your own destiny. You're creating your own scenarios, man. That's right. I got two. Let me get out of here. Well. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, it says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. That's why you niggas talk the way you do. That's right. You're so disrespectful. You, the, your behavior is the way it is because you think, you actually think the Most High is dealing with you. That's right. Because he ain't did nothing to you. Mm -hmm. You know? He letting you build up your little clothing line. Let you get views. You know what I'm saying? You getting all the views. Mm -hmm. You know? Now they getting ready to drop albums. Right. They doing shows with Vice Land. Yep. You know? Vanity and Folly. Yeah. Folly said it great dignity. That's right. That 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 evil work, the most sign brought no no sense against it. So you niggas think it's all good. They believe they are as one with the most yeah, high. Yeah, that's right, yeah. The most yeah. high is definitely with us. We've been creased. Yeah. Like Nate and them said, when we got big, we had to deal with Esau's paper. No, the most high is going to make that fall great. It says, uh, verse 12, though a sinner do evil 100 times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high, mm. which fear before him. And that's us, man. Verse 13. You know, Lord will the most high continue to keep that spirit on us, man, because we fear the Lord, man. That's right. Man, we see this shit, man, the shit going on. If you don't fear the Lord, man, you're gonna be caught out there. That's right. You're gonna be caught out there, man. Like we watched earlier. I was just saying, hey, brother, go ahead. Like we go watched ahead. earlier, nigga eating another nigga in Venezuela, man. <laughs> in you know, the prison, man. A live a live Jake munching yeah. on another dude, man. Yeah. That's real, man. All right. Yeah. The things that the Most High has set forth upon planet Earth, man, are things that are going to come to pass, man. That's why it says, uh, was in the book of Ecclesiastes when they talk about, was that chapter 12? Why the evil days come mm -hmm. not. Yeah. The evil days aren't here just yet, man. We see a prelude of those things that are to come, man. That's right. It's like the, the, the trailer. Yeah. Be hey, before the movie yeah, actually yeah. comes out. That's man. right. That's right. That's a good point, bro. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's a beautiful point, mm -hmm. man. Uh, verse 13, it says, But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High, man. That's right. 
And yeah, well that, that's Esau, and it's two thirds of you niggas too. That's right. You two thirds of all the wicked apostles of Hard just did a video uh, uh, 